while we might still be social distancing, it doesn't mean the world of entertainment is slowing down from biopics to podcasts to Broadway. And here to tell us all about it is host and pop culture uh, commentator, John Murray. Let me start out by giving you a congratulations for a project that you pulled together during this time of social distancing. You pulled together some of the biggest stars in R&B, gospel, and pop music to do this singing of That's What Friends Are For. And not only did you do that, but you got high praise from Dionne Warwick herself. How did this all come about? I wanted to do something that not only challenged me creatively, but really was inspiring to people. And so I came up with this idea and I called people and said, listen, I just want you to sing a piece of That's What Friends Are For. I just wanted to give people a reason to smile in the season, Jackie, and I'm really glad that it's resonating with people. Well, let's talk about some other entertainment news. Apparently there's another uh, Whitney Houston biopic in the works. Yeah, so we've seen a couple variations of the Whitney Houston story told before, but this is the official Whitney Houston biopic. All I know is this, there was one article online that said that Pat Houston, who runs the Houston State, that she really wanted Taraji Henson to play Whitney Houston. And one of my favorite pop culture reporters, Jasmine Simpkins, put that best. There is no way we want Cookie to play Nippy. <laughs> Moving on, let's talk about Carla Hall. She has been keeping busy and now possibly heading to Broadway. She's the new culinary ambassador for a Broadway-bound musical called Grace. The musical deals with family and faith and apparently a lot of food. So she's gonna be uh, creating all the culinary offerings that the cast will be eating. So all of that soul food will be showcased in Grace. All right, now let's talk a little Housewives. And you've got some news about the Housewives of Beverly Hills. Absolutely. You know, Garcelle Bouvet has really made a huge impact joining the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She's the first black woman to ever join this franchise, and she's done it quite well, I must say. But now she's joining the world of podcasting. She's launching really? a new podcast called Going to Bed with Garcelle. It's being produced by MGM. It's a late night affair, so it's too hot for daytime TV, Jackie. And apparently <laughs> MGM wants to get listeners engaged through the podcast because they ultimately want to turn this into a late night TV show. And some sad news for me as a fan of Greenleaf over on OWN, the show is ending. Why? Jackie, why is the question that has been all over the internet as it pertains to Greenleaf? You know, they just released their new trailer that they're coming back in June for their fifth and final season. And they revealed that it was the final season in the trailer announcement. So no one had any idea that this show was coming to an end. This church-based drama has been a huge hit for OWN. And anytime we can watch Lynn Whitfield cut up on camera the way she cuts up as Lady May, it's a good time. So we don't know why it's ending, but this summer we have some appointment television with Greenleaf. One more season. Well, let's talk about this um, new series coming to HBO, Lovecraft Country, um, from Jordan Peele. Tell us about it. All I know is everything Jordan Peele seems to do is a uber success. It's just going to scare the pants off of you. But this will be one more Jordan Peele project that I never see because I don't do horror films and I don't do horror television. I can't do it. I'm going to call you after every episode and give you play by play because I oh. love horror when it's done well and I love all things Jordan Peele and he's also doing this you know this with Misha Green who did Underground so come on and J.J. Abrams so this is going to be a great collaboration. You can enjoy this one all by yourself Jackie. <laughs> All right, and let's talk a little bit before I let you go about music festivals this summer. A lot of folks are disappointed that, you know, Coachella and the Essence Festival, they're, that they're canceled. Are they doing anything instead or postponing to a later date? What can you tell us? Well, we do know that most festivals, because of the coronavirus, have been pretty much postponed until 2021. But as it pertains to the Essence Festival, they're going to try a virtual festival this summer. You know, Essence always happens around the 4th of July weekend in New Orleans. And New Orleans has said, not only will they not have any festivals, they're not having any conventions. If you've got a large group, too big of a family, you can't come here until 2021. So <laughs> Essence is going to try a virtual festival online. And a lot of people are moving to a virtual experience, both film festivals and um, other types of uh, music and entertainment festivals. But what we need to know is in this time, more than anything, large gatherings just are not safe. Yeah, so true. And it's a good idea that they are postponing. A lot of disappointed fans, but listen, they're doing it for a good reason and to keep us all safe. So listen, it is great talking to you, my friend. And for more entertainment news and to see the That's What Friends Are For video, head to John's social media. Thank you, John. Anytime, Jackie.